Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to be doing some Fitz maintenance. So I'm going to be cleaning Fitz's tank. If you guys saw the last video from yesterday, Fitz's tank is a mess because she likes to ruin the paper towels but when doesn't she? So we're going to be redoing those paper towels. I'm going to be filling her food bowl up again so showing you guys what I pretty much feed her on a daily basis or what I'm feeding her at this moment. If you guys are wondering why are you saying feeding her like you don't feed her every day because I don't. I usually feed Fitz every other day or daily depending on what she eats or how much she eats. So if she does eat a lot I'll feed her the next day. If she really doesn't eat as much then I'll just wait another day to feed her. And I'm also going to be cleaning the tank she's in right now and I have an exciting upgrade for Fitz's tank. Wait for it. I finally got a tube light. So for all of you who are harassing me because I don't have a tube light, I have one now, so you can't say anything. <laughs> Besides the point, I'm gonna be doing that kind of upgrade on her tank. And this is gonna be part one because part two, I have a very exciting upgrade for Fitz. She's getting a new tank. It's gonna be coming in the mail soon. It's from Zen Habitats and it's a four foot long tank. So that's pretty exciting. Fitz definitely deserves it because she's been in that 40 gallon for most of her life. She definitely grew out of it. So it's about time she gets that big luxurious tank. And that just means I can use the 40 gallon for another pet. <laughs> but yeah, let's get right into this video. So first off, I'm gonna be just cleaning her tank and then we're gonna work on the feeding and then I'm gonna set up the light. So. Let's get into it. All right, so as you guys can see, her tank isn't the cleanest, but it's there. It's just not super clean, but. Sorry, Fitz, I'm just gonna uh, take away your sun really quick. Don't look in the light. <laughs> Don't go blind. Come over this way. And also with her second upgrade, I'm gonna be buying her new decorations. So these are kind of old. These are from when she was a baby. I'm gonna be getting new ones. Oh, yep, you went to the bathroom in this. Very nice. are like miniature ones so they don't fully cover the tank but she's getting an upgrade anyway soon like within the next week or two hopefully so it doesn't really matter Fitz thinks she's like a tiny baby still. She will climb like in that hide and she'll get stuck in it and I'll be in here and she'll just have her head like poking out trying to wiggle out. I'm like Fitz you're not that small anymore but then again I need to get her bigger hides anyway so it's probably my fault. <laughs> Alright so now that we're done with the cleaning we can move right along to the feeding.
changing her UVB light. Well, I should probably unpack the dome first. A lot of you guys have been asking where I get these mounting clips. I get them off of, well, I got them from PetSmart, well, no, Petco, but um, they sell them on Amazon. Just look up mounting clips for reptiles. Goodbye, light. And we have the Reptisun T8 terrarium hood. Hopefully I don't electrocute myself because this looks very dangerous and I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, you turn it to lock it. Okay. And then here is the big guy. And there you go. Look at that. It looks brighter already. Oh, I'm so proud. That is really bright. <laughs> but no more coil balls. I'm so excited. And then once Fitz gets her big tank upgrade, I will be pretty much set. She's like, what the heck is that? I just want to eat my foods. Fitz, your stomach hangs on the floor. <laughs> See guys, you can tell that the tank is really grown out because look how big Fitz is. And then look how small her tank is. But there's the light that you all have been waiting for. So thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next video.